My life kind of turned upside down. Um, I was arrested by the university police. I lost my full right scholarship and I was banned from the campus. It was very hard. And the reason why that happened is because I tried to end my life in the dorms. I'm very glad that I did not succeed. I'm very glad that I was arrested that day. I'm very, very glad that I was seeking help because my life is so much better now. And I want anybody who's thinking about suicide to realize that you can be a hope for somebody out there. And more than that, um, somebody out there is looking for someone like you to help them out. I knew I was different from, from the beginning, from the time you even knew what different was. I felt very alone and like, uh, like something was wrong, like I wasn't fitting in and I needed to change myself. I felt confused, but more worried about my purpose in life and that being gay and announcing that I'm gay would affect my abilities to achieved my goals. And I just felt odd about where I was in my community and knew that it was not something that I could share with anyone. It meant facing family and friends and people that I had known all my life and telling them that they didn't really know me. I felt like I was lying about to all my friends and even to myself. I kind of would tell myself that I was straight and even though I wasn't and as I, as I grew up I kind of started to accept it more within myself but I, I would tell myself that I would never come out. I didn't love myself. I didn't really appreciate who I was. In my mind, it didn't feel right, but in my heart, I felt that, you know, being gay was, was something that I needed to embrace. After I came out, I felt really relieved, uh, partially due to the fact that a lot of my friends already knew. Just being able to feel that freedom of, of not having to pretend anymore was just such a great relief. It was wonderful. <laughs> the more people you tell, the easier it gets. Just practice makes perfect. Now I don't have this persona that I've been trying to hide for so long and that I've been trying to put up in front of other people. Now I actually get to be myself and who is that? It was just so easy to be honest with everyone and there was no covering and there was no having to watch your gender pronouns and having to, having to feel like you had something to hide. It just was, I could be honest about every part of my life. I remember the person I was the most worried about telling was my mom. I remember the first question she asked me was, are you happy? And I said, yes, I'm very happy. And her response was, all I ever want is for my kids to be happy. After I came out as a straight ally, I felt relieved because I honestly, truly believe that the most important thing that you can do is just to love people. I've worked at places that have been tolerant or have even accepted me and my lifestyle or people that I've dated. But working here at Zynga, it's actually celebrated. Everyone here embraces the diversity and the culture and, and not necessarily who I am, but who everyone is. You don't have to completely separate who you are as a person to, and still be professional. We're going to let people be who they are, um, both in terms of their work experience and their work environment, but also um, for all of our players around the world to represent themselves any which way they want. I work on a game called Frontierville, and it's the one game at, at Zynga that allows same-sex marriages. And we recently had a, um, a kissing tree mission for Valentine's Day that allowed the two in-game female characters to hook up and kiss under the tree. We talk about social gaming and social networking, and this is, this is true life. Ten years ago, which is exactly when I came out, um, I would probably say to myself, it's okay, it's going to be okay and it's gonna get better. I would tell myself to ask more questions, um, to speak out, um, and to, to educate myself more. Laugh at myself for caring as much as I did what other people thought. Be strong or stronger for uh, my friends who might have been feeling bullied or uh, feeling left out, feeling different. Suicide is um, removing yourself from the equation and that's not the answer. You'll never find the solution. There's ways to get help 
um, to, to know that tomorrow is going to be a better day and next month and next year and there's a lot of good times ahead. If you can wait until you can get to that spot where you're an adult and you're making your own choices about your life, no one else is telling you who you are or what you should be, you'll feel I felt <laughs> so liberated. <laughs> you have to take pride in who you are and, who, and not worry about the people around you. There's a horizon out there and there are people who will embrace you. There's someone out there who's going to love you for the amazing and talented person that you are. And if you end your life now, you'll never meet them. Life is too short and the world needs to experience you. I care about you and I'm sure there are other people who really care if you're alive and I can't change the world without people like you. you know, so it, just, it gets, life, life can be hard, but it gets so much better. What keeps me going now is knowing that I have now empowered myself to be whoever I want to be. I believe that my feelings are right and I can stand up for them, and I do. And I don't believe that anyone should dictate how I should feel. I'm, I'm a very proud gay person, but I'm much more than that and it's always keeping it in perspective. As long as you're true to yourself and you love yourself and you have people in your life that are standing by you, that's, that's all you really need. There's a family that you belong to and that's what you're born into, and then there's a family that belongs to you. And the family that belongs to me is what keeps me going. I believe that going through this experience helped me reach out to everyone because there's a lot of people out there who feel they are different um, and they just need some love and they just need the fact that somebody can reach out there and say, hey, I can be there and I can help you.